Step one, what you're going to do is you're logging to IXL. So you're going to match the right screen that says eighth grade math. So if you're not already on there, because Efren did an amazing job, he's already matched the screen. Go ahead and do that right now. So again, step one, go to IXL on the main eighth grade page. Okay, it's a, the page that has all the gold stars on it for the things that we've done so far. Okay, walking around, make sure we're on that. Very good, very good. So my approach to universal access is going to be through IXL. And what IXL is providing me is a database for information for the students to access uh, learning gaps. Those learning gaps were uh, determined from the NWEA that the students took back in September. And what's nice about IXL and NWEA is they're automatically linked now through our district. So the students information is already there. It's just a matter of them logging into it and working on those concepts. Uh, if, when, you, when you click on C personal plan, there are four modules to pick from. You can pick from operations and algebraic thinking. You can pick from the real and complex number systems. Third is measurement and data. And the last plan is geometry. You can pick any one you want. So what your goal is to, to get two of them done today. Okay, so you want to get two of them done. So that means staying on task for 20 minutes. Markers and erasers. You guys can work out the problems out on the board, on the, on the tables. So I like doing universal access on Monday. It's a modified shortened day. So it just gives students um, exposure for about 20 minutes to work on those um, gaps in their learning. And what I like about it is um, 20 minutes is just enough time to fill in a concept because I'm noticing that students are able to do a module within that time. And once they were started, it was just a matter of walking around. Um, enjoyed working with a few students today uh, individually just on a concept. And also when I'm working with them, I see exactly where they're at. Okay, you're learning fractions, you're learning multiples or you're learning a uh, measurement. How much cheese do we have? One half. Half of a pound, right? But how many pizzas we got? Two. So what we gotta do is we gotta take that cheese and evenly put it on four different pizzas. You can't. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because you have one half. What about taking a half of a half or a quarter of a half? Right, four halves. Okay, so now we're on the right track. So how do we take four halves to figure out how much cheese on each pizza? Because if you get more cheese on your pizza compared to me, I don't know if that would be fair. I want the same cheese as you. So it's just right, really so cool to interact with the students on a one-on-one -on -one experience while everybody else was busy with their own differentiated lesson. That's what I love most about it. Now as a teacher, I can check and see what you guys are doing. So remember, we're staying on task for 20 minutes. And checking right now, see who's on task. Let's take a look. Good job, Andrew. 64, right on. Vladimir, don't give up. Keep going, man. You got it. Good job, Brian. Almost there. One more to 80. Christopher, 75. Keep going. Connor, almost perfect. Good job, Eddie. Eddie, you got it perfect. Alexa, great. So part of um, nice. IXL with Universal Access is making sure that all students have an opportunity to fill those gaps. So what the Live Classroom does is make sure that all students are actively working. So the live classroom view tells me two things. Who's logged in, what they're working on, and in the live classroom view, if I click on their name, it actually shows me the question they're working on as well. So a student that might need help, I believe if you get three wrong in a row, uh, it pops up as a flag, the box turns red, it says student might need assistance. So it can mean two things, either the student's guessing, uh, which could indicate giving up or just getting frustrated, or they're just really generally slag stuck on it. I just like the fact that universal access in the form of IXL this year is allowing students just to really work on their need. Where I found myself running around the classroom um, or spending a long time uh, lesson planning or differentiating, okay, this student needs that, I'm gonna write it down, okay, this student's doing this tomorrow. And it was just com it was so complex that now the technology is doing it for me, it's just a relief.